We are working on some exciting things here on the homestead. We're gonna be getting something, which you all will find out soon, an animal that I'm excited about, but we have to do quite a few things before we can get to have this animal, which we should be getting in a couple weeks actually. So the first step is our old van is currently parked in a part of the barn that we will need for this said animal. And so we have to go in and clean up an area that we've been neglecting to clean up when we moved here. This certain part of the barn was, or is still and was, full of all kinds of old doors and scrap wood. We never cleaned it out, mostly because we thought, well, we could always use some of this stuff. And here we've been here over a year and we haven't, and now we need to be parking the van in that part of the barn. So we're gonna clean up. I told Luke, let's have a big bonfire because we just need to get this done so that we can move on with our homestead dreams. So that's the plan for this entire week. We're stuck at home due to the, you know what, I've heard we're not supposed to say it on our channel, so. We're always pretty much at home anyway. But this is a good excuse to start working on some of this stuff. So we are in cleaning mode and building fences mode and I'm gonna take you with us this week. And soon you get to meet the newest member of the homestead. The mom? Little prints all over, all over dad's truck from the cats. Oh, there are. Well, all right, let's do a little before tour of the barn. I think we've gone in here before, but old fence posts, we were, Getting ready to build a fence, looking through this and realize that there really aren't of much value because they're mostly rotted out from time. Lots of pallets, old screen doors, probably 20 of them. There's piles of them. There's piles of them. Old pieces of wood, stuff we've taken out of the kitchen. We just have to realize we're never going to use all this stuff. I just did a listing on Facebook Marketplace for free. These doors back here, they're a little bit too nice to burn. We don't have any use for them because there's so many of them, but I just listed them for free. Thought I should let you know because I didn't want any of you to think that I am burning nice stuff. So we're not going to. We're going to just do it for free and see if anybody wants to come by and snag it. It's a windshield for what something. What are you going to do with that? Probably just have like a little it's like a windshield, I don't really know exactly. <laughs> Hi buddy. Yeah, we're starting the fire. Yeah. See, all of a sudden this becomes like something I'm like, this is a treasure to me all of a sudden because it says K something something Chicago case number nine. So now this is just something you want to Now this is something I, I'd like to clean. Set aside. For real? Right here? <laughs> I mean, I just don't want a barn full of stuff. If you have a few treasure possessions, that's fine. But like, okay. we, we've lived here over a year and you didn't know that existed. That yeah. is my point. And this board, feel yeah. this board, how heavy it is. It's cool. It's what you going to do with it? That's just old. Do you want this one to be one of your treasure possessions? Well, see, it's got to keep going because, like, this <laughs> is also old. And, like, it's just old. It is just old. Not that it needs to be saved from. My point is simply you know, my point, right? That board you didn't know existed. So, this helps. You're getting out rid of the riffraff, and now you know what you got. I'm not, I'm not completely blind to your ways. <laughs> um, what time is it getting to be? It's getting to be lunchtime. Is it already that time? Yeah, it's, it's 11.30. I'm going to go, I have um, English muffin soaking. I'm going to make sandwiches for lunch. Day two of what we're 
getting ready for, what animal we're getting ready for here. We're getting an early start because Luke and I have a date night tonight, which with quarantine is gonna mean a hike and takeout likely. So hopefully we'll get a lot done, we'll see. It's colder than we thought it should be this morning, huh? What did I just scream about? Well, last year I planted some peonies and I see the evidence that they're, they're gonna come up. And peonies are my absolute favorite. They don't come up till May. Micah, do you want to go show them my hyacinth I planted last year? Come on, let's go show them the hyacinth. Yep, there's a, those are going to be peonies. I've been looking for them to pop up lately. I've been looking for little red fingers, and there they are. We need to plant a lot more. This little path should be lined in peonies. Yes, it should. And then our side porch will look so pretty. Last year I planted some hyacinth. There it is. It's a little bit weedy. I need to do a little bit more planting with all of this planting, but all in good time. Luke is heading to get some different supplies. We got the wrong size tea posts. This is our first time ever putting up fencing. I grew up on a 40 acre elk farm, and so the entire property was lined with eight foot tall game fence. And so today I was thinking, Hmm, I don't remember dad ever doing that. I guess I was too little. We had fencing all over our property, but I've never done fencing. And so I'm about as clueless as a city girl uh, when it comes to that. So we're learning and it's gonna take us a painfully long time, but I'm sure we'll get the job done then eventually I'll know how to do it. We've done basically nothing to this cottage since we moved in. It's all coming. It's starting by putting in a new roof. And then once we get the roof in, then we can feel more confident in um, fixing this up. So this cottage, guys, picture it. I'm picturing it blue with white trim, maybe light blue. New roof, which I think is gonna be a dark metal. And then imagine window boxes under that window with flowers and under that window. Well, that would be hard to water, so probably not that window. We can do the top one on the other side because that one doesn't have um The window opens, and we, it doesn't have a screen? Yes, the other one, um, they both open. It's just that um, the one on the other side doesn't have a screen on it. We could water them. You guys could water them. We are really trying to make a decision on the roof situation. I don't know what colors to do all these roofs. You can pick them up. Thank you. Good job, Micah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a lot of them. Oh, no. He's picked up two and missed. Might be cool to take that top off so you can see them. See up. Would you like that? Daniel, you like it? <laughs> Jack Jack's coming to see you. Leave the baby alone. No, don't climb that. When I was a kid, my dad said I had to climb close to the post, but let's not even do that. Eli, can you open the gate? Show me how you open the gate. There's the hinge side, there you go. It can go either way. Do you know how to shut it? Oh, uh, it can go either way? It can go either way. Oh, this is the, the baby ram. Yeah, it goes Oh, I'm out! Oh, you can lock it? Yep. You can lock it? Like, how do you do that? You go, no, nope, here. Right Whoop. here. Just go through here. No, nope, no, nope, through up here. Oh, through up here. Uh -oh. And then just the next Get it back. nice and tight, taut, and then just. Boop. Oh, now it's locked. Now it's locked. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. 
to say mud. Wow. <laughs> All right, tape it hey. in, buddy. You can do it, bud. All that dirt back in the hole. Oh, he wants to put some rock in there. He wants to do it exactly like Daddy. Good job, buddy. Hey, why are you doing this? Well, we're getting rained out for the day and for this vlog probably, but updates coming soon on what is going in here. Stay tuned. Can't wait to share with you our next project on all this. Super exciting to be adding and actually doing some homestead things for this spring. So stay tuned.